G'day Dragons fans, Benny back again. Uh, thanks for tuning in to our uh, player reviews for 2022. Hope you're enjoying the content that, uh, that we're putting out. Um, yeah, we're definitely having fun making it. Uh, this week, uh, I'm going to kick it off with Tyrell Fuimeono, or however you say it. Yeah, Ty's 25 years old, currently uh, still on contract, uh, I think until the end of 2022. 17 appearances in 2021 uh, and bagged himself one try, which are not too bad. Played mostly in lock, then as DeBellin came back, he sort of shifted to more of an interchange player um, and then had a, a fair few games in the second row position as well. Dynamic in both uh, attack and defence, uh, defending at a 91.8% tackle efficiency. Sometimes a bit too dynamic uh, in defence. Um, actually, yeah, got, got a, fair, a fair few uh, weeks off suspended. For, uh, for a couple of incidents, uh, namely the five weeks that he got for that high contact on um, on Pappenhausen uh, in that Melbourne game. Pretty notorious. Yeah, shame, you know. Like, I don't think there was any real, you know, ill intent in that. Just uh, just one of those things. And obviously with the, the new laws that that, uh, that have been brought in for the NRL in regards to high contact, you know, I think they obviously had to make an example of him. Yeah, it, it seemed to be. He, he copped it a bit during the season. I think after you, you do something like that, you know, the refs and the officials are always going to be sort of up your ass, which which sort of sucks for, for Ty, you know, because, um, yeah, I love the way he plays. He's, he, he's got that mongrel. He gets in and has a crack, and he's, yeah, you know, gives it his all, and you can see it in the way that he plays. So it's a bit of a shame that he spent so much time on the sideline. Yeah, I love his aggression, you know, like I was just saying. He's, yeah, he, he plays it tough. He plays it hard. Real, real great coming off the bench um, as one of those real dynamic players to sort of cover that sort of 20, 25 minute period when the boys are getting tired. I can't really see him being a permanent fixture in our 17 for, for 2022. Again, but you know, with, with injuries and suspensions, which I'm sure we're going to see during the season, because um, the refs and new officials definitely like to give the Red V a bit of a hard time. Uh, I think you'll definitely get some game time uh, in first grade. Uh, which I'm really looking forward to see. So, um, yeah, I, I like him. He's one of my, my more favourite players. I'd love to see him, you know, really work hard to get into that, you know, regular 17. Uh, but with the depth we've got across the field, um, especially, you know, second rowers and, and those sort of positions, um, yeah, I just can't see it happening uh, just just now. So we'll see how the, the start of the season pans out for him. Uh, I'm sure he's going to work his ass off like he always does. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, just a short one today. Um, so, yeah, but again, like I've said in the, the previous videos, follow us on all of our social medias, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Um, and if you are on YouTube, like and subscribe. Um, it really helps us out each. So, yeah, thanks, guys. Up the Red V. <laughs>